A typical laser is monochromatic. It has a single wavelength. In contrast, a lamp has everything, from blue to red. But if we want to have only blue and red at narrow line widths, then we need to combine lasers. Here I have a green laser that bounces off a mirror and a second red laser. I want them to go along the same path, so I will have to combine them at the crossover point. To do that, I use a dichroic mirror that is a specially coated piece of glass that is a window for red light, but a mirror for green light. Now, the alignment sequence is important. Let's do it naively first. Define a beam axis with two pinholes and bring both lasers to overlap by directing with a normal mirror and a dichroic mirror. As you can see, aligning the dichroic mirror actually redirects the red laser and that effect is even stronger the thicker the dichroic mirror is. What we need is another pair of steering mirrors for the red beam path. The alignment sequence is now green steering first, then red steering. The same applies with more colors. Have enough degrees of freedom on all laser lines and start alignment with the line that couples into the common path last. One more thing. Dichroic mirrors are designed for 45 degree incidents. So make sure to plan your setup fair and square. See you next time.